be able, be able to go out there with uh, the team and you know finally get this W it's SC because you know being here three years I haven't got one yet so I'll be able to you know feel that with the whole team and celebrate with my guys and you know be able, be able to go out there and see the offense do what they do defense you know fire on, on all cylinders the special teams even uh, you know do great things on Saturday it was really great to see and you know it's just it's, it's a fun feeling to be able to you know beat your cross cross, cross town rivals and uh, you know leave leave the stadium feeling like okay it's it's, it's clicking now. Do you have any friends on SC? I actually have one of my one of my buddies from high school. Uh, transferred from um, Sac State over there to SC, so he's a walk-on right now. But uh, my son after the game or whatever, he's not able to play this year. But you know, still able, you know, kind of good rubber in his face a little bit. But um, it's good to see him on that sideline. You know, be able to compete against him next year and um, talk a little trash. So you, get, you didn't get a chance to talk to trash yet? Nah, not not just yet because he didn't really get a chance to participate. But if he says something, you know, I'm, I'm easily going to talk trash to him. Seems like as the season gone has gone on, you've instinctually been able to like feel where a play is going and definitely in this game uh, are you feeling that and did you feel it in, against SC uh yeah you know it's just all about uh from it starts with coaching staff you know they set up a really good game plan for us and um we're able to dissect the film and uh, we're in there long hours whatever and you know we're seeing what we got to see and they give us the right the right stuff to see during practice from the scout team and um, you know, we're just able to see our reads that we see from the, from the film. Once we see that, we're all communicating, we're talking. You see that now on, on the field. So it's like we're all on, the same, so, uh, all on the same page now, able to fly around, you know, make plays faster and uh, dissect things a lot quicker. And did you that. see that? Sorry, Ben. Did you see that read on that last play, on that breakup? Uh, it was, I, I give that one to Coach Rhodes. You know, he's a, he, he did that one in seven on seven, and it's all week. They uh, showed us in that same, the same formation, in our same, our same coverage call. We knew it was going to be a little, little swirl route, quick out route, and uh, I could have jumped it. Hopefully, I was trying to pick it, but you know, I take knock, the knockdown for for the silver to win. Did you actually get your finger on it? Did you actually uh, tip, tip my it? finger? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what was that feeling like when you? Uh, when you away? Honestly, it was kind of unreal. Like it was like couldn't believe it was fourth down. Couldn't believe the game was over. I mean, I was just kind of just juice. Like saw me flex up for a second, but then after that, you know, I was trying to go celebrate my teammates because you know it feels good to finally, you know, to seal the win and you know, be able to celebrate with my teammates. Is that, is that a win that kind of makes you feel like you guys are building for something toward a greater future? Uh, definitely. I mean, every game I've been feeling that way. Um, you know, we've improved every game uh, week in, week out. Um, you know, we always got to fix, you know, little things. Even this week, we still got to fix some stuff. Um, but a win definitely does help it. Um, but so, like I said, we're still trying to improve, and every week you do see it. I think Coach was talking about how you guys go through this process every week, and uh, Getting that win kind of gives you something to validate the process. Is that how it, how it felt that you, something you can show tangibly that uh, you did all this work? Definitely, you know, it, it's, it's good to see like your hard work pays off, especially during the week because how, how hard we practice, even still, it's late in the season. So it's like to be able to go out there and execute and do what we do, we've do, been doing all week in practice and then show it on the field, show it to our fans and, and then show to everybody that, you know, we're here, we can still do this. Like, no matter what our record is, no matter what it is, we're, we're sticking together. We're going to be able to run, run, run the tables or whatever it's going to be. Like, we're going to do this. So, you know, it's, it's good to be able to go out there and, and, and come out with a win and feel like, okay, we can, we can really do this thing. So, yeah. How are you physically? We know your shoulders a bit nicked up, and how has this training staff kind of helped you get through that? Um, since the Arizona game, I've been kind of dealing with a couple of injuries. Uh, I popped my hamstring a little bit pregame of uh, Arizona. Ever since then, it's been kind of shaky. Um, shoulder injury in Utah, um, but you know, I mean, I'm, I'm in and out of treatment, and uh, you know, wait, the, wait, the strength staff is helping me. Um, coaches are helping me. You know, they're doing everything, everything we all can, you know, to help me, uh, you know, just get better and be able to make it through the week and through the game. Um, so, you know, I appreciate them, everything they do. But, uh, you know, I'm feeling a little bit, but this late in the season, you're going to feel something. So, at this, at this time, it's all about mental. And that's why I kind of sw switched to in the last couple of games was like saying, just, I, I can't play with fears, but, you know, I just got to play through the fear and just, you know, just go. So, I mean, I've, I've been feeling pretty good lately and just got to keep it going. Are you going to have to have surgery on that shoulder? No. Okay. You know, there's one game left, but is there a feeling on the team of, Thinking about next season with so many people returning? Uh, uh, no, no, we're sticking, we're sticking this one week. You know, we got to finish, finish the season off right. Um, no one's thinking, thinking ahead. No one's thinking about the future or the past. We're thinking about this one week, day by day, play by play. So we're we're excited for this week, and we'll see what happens. How big will a win be against Stanford? The program has a week against Stanford. It'll, it'll be huge, you know, just especially to finish off the season. You know, finish off with a win, going into you know the off season, get ready to work. Um, but either way, we're just, you know, like I said, taking it day by day, play by play. What are some of the biggest challenges you see from Stanford's offense? It's just, just on us. We got to gotta make sure that we do what we got to do uh, right. Each play, you know, run, run fits and whatever, uh, 
pass coverage and whatever the offensive side of the ball has to do, it's, it's, it's on us. If we execute, we'll be okay.